Hello and welcome. Welcome back to another video. In this video I'm working on the 86 again and this time we're installing a DC Sports up pipe. Now this up pipe is used, it is a second hand one that I bought local and looked it over, all the welds look good, nothing looks damaged so I think I'm gonna use it now I was gonna wait like originally I was gonna wait until I bought a mid pipe but the one I've been looking at has been on back order for a while and it'll probably be a while so I'll go ahead and throw this on then I'm gonna take the exhaust back apart to do the mid pipe so let's throw this on but before we do that, uh, let's see what it sounds like. Uh, it currently has a mystery uninkle length heddle and an NVIDIA uh, catback with stock mid pipe and up pipe. So let's see what that sounds like. Okay, closing the garage. I was able to get in here without taking the split off, which means my ramps I made my last episode worked. Okay, what's next? And like every project I do, I gotta take the car up and take all the under tray stuff out so I can get to the factory downpipe. Well, shit. I was gonna take the car up. But my jack died. As soon as you put any type of pressure on it, uh, it's not pumping up anymore. So I'm gonna attempt to resurface it, see if that fixes it. If not, uh, I might have to get a new one. I've had this jack for who knows how long, a really long time. Okay, I surfaced the jack. It's working, but does it feel great? It's still soft. So more than likely seals or shot seeping. So I'm gonna have to replace you. Uh, that's gonna happen later. Okay, I still need you for right now. Okay, car's jacked up. Now I'm underneath the car where it's hard to see with a camera. You know, shooting footage this time. And I did discover a bad thing about my split is I can't get to one of the bolts for the skid plate pan thing without taking the damn split off. I would have made this a little bit wider. That would have been golden. But no, split has to come off so I can take this bad boy off because the overpipe is up there. Okay, split on skid plan is off. You can see my nicely wrapped mystery heddle. Still looks good. Now we can get to the overpipers. You can see where it bolts to the heddle heel. Just two bolts. Uh, I think on a factory heddle, these are studs. So it's a little bit harder to get it off the factory, but these are nut and bolts. 
on this one. And I think most of the market hills. So I gotta undo those two. Then it goes over the subframe in the rack and pinion and hooks up to the mid pipe back there. Hopefully my big fat sway ball doesn't get in the way. And also I might have to undo it from back there to lower this to get more clearance. I'll find out when I get there. Okay, I got my hardware out, and this is the pan the butt part. You can see there's not much room to take the overpipe out because it's, it's going over the sway ball, the steering rack, and the subframe. And this has studs on it, which makes it even harder. So I think I am going to have to drop this, get this out of the way. Okay, I got the front pipe dangling. Just unloosen those two bolts up there. Just enough to get this thing loose to unhang it. Now you can see, got a lot more room to get the over pipe out. Five minutes later. One eternity later. Took a lot longer than I expected because I had to take the damn header out to get that damn thing to clear. Probably, this, probably should have did more research before I started. Now you can try taking all the heat shielding off. Still couldn't sneak it through. But she's finally out. And now that this thing's off, I can kind of compare it to the new one. And as you can see, the factory one, it's really not that restrictive. Not as restrictive as I thought it was going to be. Other than these dents mm -hmm. in the factory, it's not that bad. Of course this one I think is a little bit wider and of course smoother so the exhaust is going to go a little bit better but to be completely honest I don't think this mod is worth it for the pain in the ass it is to replace this port because you, you're going to see very very minimum gains with replacing just this piece but so if it was me I would only do this if I was already removing the head and exhaust. If you're doing the whole system, yeah, go ahead and replace this. But if you're replacing that by yourself, not worth it. If you want to know how to remove the head from one of these cars, I do have a video. I'll put a link up here in the corner, and you can see some of the troubles I had to fit the first time. Definitely a lot easier the second time. But now, let's put the new one in. Hopefully it goes together a like easier than it came apart. Also I want to note is the pay attention on the shape of this pipe. You don't want to put the new one in the wrong direction. Uh, to start the studs goes to the wheel of the car, to the exhaust. The side of out studs is the header side, so just compare the new one with the old one. Make sure it's oriented right when you put it in the car. Okay, the new oval pipe are in. I did have to find new hardware for the wheel. Don't forget to put new gaskets in it. And headers back in, which is kind of. Pain in the butt, 
And now I'm covered in insulation and itchy. Fun. Exhaust is hooked back up. Only thing left down here is the pan. That thing. Now there is another way to do it. You can unbolt the two engine mounts and raise the engine up a little bit. Just enough to, to pull the overpipe out. But I don't have my cherry pickle here. I let somebody borrow it. So I didn't go that route. And I've seen a lot of other people, they push up on the oil pan. And I don't want to do that. I don't like that. It's kind of an important piece. Why? Okay, the pan is back on, but probably gonna wait until tomorrow to put the splitter on after we'll take for a drive and stuff get it out of the garage see how she feels how she sounds and see if like i said if this is even worth it i don't think it is garage off jack stands out of the garage now let's see how she sounds see if there's any difference any major differences So far it sounds the same to me. I can't tell the difference. So take for a drive, see if it feels any different. Let's go for a drive. Okay, I'm back from my test drive. You can see the weather's getting a little, it's a little wet. So luckily I got done before it got too bad. Uh, my Vodic, like I said before, it sounds about the same. Call feels about the same. So, eh, it's one of those mods, it's not gonna really see or feel anything unless you're doing the entire exhaust system. Because from the factory, for the most part, this piece isn't that bad. Yes, this stuff I hear, these little dents, which I'm not sure why they did that, isn't helping, it's slightly restrictive. But it's not enough where you can fill it, go to horsepower. So I say that an overpipe is one of those things that by itself I wouldn't bother with. But if you do plan on doing the entire system, if you plan on especially the heddle, if you plan on replacing the heddle and having it out, yeah, go ahead and go ahead and replace this. Especially since you are with it. You're already in there when things are hard. Yeah, I definitely recommend it then. But if you're just doing a cat back or something and you're trying to get noise, trying to get the sound good, nah, I wouldn't bother. Just wait until you do the entire exhaust. That's where you can get your, your biggest bang for your buck is to do the entire thing. Unfortunately I don't think my, my mid pipe will be in before my first track event of the year which, uh, which is Vince Tokyo. I'll be going to NCM for Vince Tokyo this spring in March and I don't think I'll have it by then. Um, also I have some other announcements is for Good Life. Uh, I'm planning on doing Good Life NCM and Good Life Gingerman. I might add more events. Kind of depends on my schedule. 
but I'm not doing HPD. I'm doing time attack. So this is my first real time doing time attack. I'll be doing street class. So that should be a lot of fun because that's what my car is best suited for. The only thing I'm gonna have to change for the class is the splitter. The splitter has to come back off, which is not a big deal. It's pretty easy. But other than that, all the, all the other mods I have should be fine in that class. So stay tuned for that stuff, for those events. I'll definitely be covering them and have videos up. So if you haven't already, subscribe so you know when I'm there or be able to watch those videos in the future. But until then, hope you enjoyed this video, hope you learned something. And if you want to see some other mods to this and some other toys, watch some of my other videos. But until then, take it easy. Don't do anything I would do and peace out.